All right. Uh, thank you for the introduction. So I'm Martin. I'm from Quantstamp, and I want to be talking today about flash loans and you know how we can synthesize such flash loans and attack vectors automatically. So here is a list of protocols, and very obviously you can guess that all of them were hacked, right? All of them were hacked within the period of 2020 up until 2023 using flash loans. Most notably, the largest one, Euler, was hacked for nearly $200 million this year. So altogether, this sums up to 300 million US dollars in damages. And I'm here today to talk about a tool at Quantstem that we have that can achieve something like that. If we had that tool three years ago, nobody would have been hacked. So what is a flash loan? Just to be complete in our definitions, flash loan is simply an uncollateralized loan that you can take as a developer from a smart contract for the scope of a single transaction, right? So you will say, hey, please give me a flash loan of size X. If this liquidity is available, the smart contract will give it to you. It will run actions that you want it to run. And at the end, it will check whether you have repaid this flash loan. If you did, then the transaction will remain unreverted and otherwise it will revert, right? Uh, so this is what a flash loan is. What they were developed for or designed for were or is closing arbitrage opportunities. And, you know, sometimes they're used for that, but sometimes because you can actually borrow a lot and lot of money, uh, they are actually being used to exploit DeFi protocols. So, you know, attackers usually take flash loan, they manipulate some market somewhere and then they exploit another protocol that uses that given market as a price oracle for some purposes. And the reason why I'm able to be here today and why I was able to show you that slide before is that, you know, unfortunately, due to composability of DeFi, flash loan attacks and attack vectors, they're actually really hard to find. So, you know, for this reason, I've been actually on a lookout for a tool that could aid the discovery of such uh, attack vectors for us. Uh, for, you know, pretty much since the very first flash loan attack. So the very fla first flash loan attack happened at ETH Denver in uh, 2020. And right in 2020, uh, we actually had some first attempts to use automation to discover such attacks. So the very first one that I am aware of, that was Bernhard Mueller, who used Mithril and MythX to discover flash loan attacks. And he actually gave talks here in Paris at ETHCC about that, still in like July uh, of 2020. But unfortunately, he was only able to handle some very basic cases. He was actually portraying it and framing it as discovering arbitrage opportunities uh, he was using Uniswap contracts and, you know, the general performance and, and the quality of these findings were not sufficient for practical use in the auditing industry. Then uh, last year in August at the Stanford Blockchain Conference, uh, I actually saw a really nice talk about something called Clockwork Finance Framework, which uses formal verification and the CAME framework uh, to discover uh, flash loan attacks. It has a lot of caveats. It's a purely academic work, and it's also not suitable for, you know, practical use. And finally, uh, there is also something, or there was also something called Vanguard. So uh, Vanguard was a tool developed by uh, Veridice. I checked it in uh, December 2022, so last year. Uh, it is no longer available. It was taken down uh, from GitHub and it was also attempting to discover flash loan vulnerabilities, but you know, was not successful in doing so. So the bottom line is, if you actually want some automation and if you want help from tooling, uh, you need some new ideas in here. There is nothing out there or there was nothing out there up until this point that would work. So uh, I discovered this work uh, by a student at the University of Toronto who we partnered with at Quantstamp and you know, brought into production a tool that uh, works roughly as follows. It perceives the entire protocol and the sequence of actions that you can perform on the protocol as a profit function of the, as a profit function of the potential profits to the attacker. So, you know, imagine something like compound, right? You can deposit funds into it, you can withdraw funds from it, you can liquidate somebody else. And then there are various parameters that go into these, uh, into these uh, function calls. So these parameters, those are some variables of a multivariate multi polynomial. And if you sequence them, if you plop in some particular values, you will get a value back. And that value back is what you would receive as an attacker if you were, you know, performing this action. Now, 
if this action is positive or if the result of this function is positive then as an attacker you would make money if it is negative then you would not make money right and if you ran everything inside of a flash loan call then uh, then uh, such a sequence of actions would revert because you would not be able to um, to repay your loan and so this is what we actually do we generate a whole bunch of random sequences of these actions and parameters that can be fed into those and then we evaluate what profit would the attacker get if this was run inside of a smart contract that would take flash loan and run this as an attack and then whenever you know we just get these whole bunch of random points then we model this multivariate polynomial and we take a look at what are the local maxima that give us positive profit, right? And once we find something that gives us the positive profit, we actually take these parameters, this specific sequence of action, and we execute it in a simulated chain environment. So imagine something like a fork of blockchain on Foundry or Hardhead or something. And then if this confirms that such a sequence of actions actually executes and gives us the profit, we have synthesized it automatically a full attack vector that would exploit the given protocol. And if it doesn't, if it reverts, or if the profit is actually negative, then we have obtained another function point, right? Another point of that polynomial that we can plop in back into our models uh, and uh, improve those models and keep searching and searching and searching. And this is showing to have a very, very, very good results. As I showed you on that one of those uh, initial slides, we are able to find pretty much all the significant flash loan attacks and hacks from the past three years, including Euler. So, you know, here is uh, an example of an output, how it looks in our particular implementation uh, for the Euler protocol. Uh, and that's about it. So in summary, what I wanted to tell you is that at Quantstem, we now have a tool that is actually capable of automatically discovering flash loan attacks. It uses completely new approach. You will not find any symbolic execution or formal verification in there. It just uses pure numerical analysis and modeling of polynomials. Um, Unfortunately, you know, for the whole time I was saying, yes, it's automated. Yes, it is automated. The search runs automatically, but the tool still requires a little bit of manual guidance and a little bit of, you know, retrofitting for every single protocol. But thanks to all the work that I have done together with Jeff within this past half year, uh, this pendulum of work that is actually required is not so much. It is very, very comparable. It's actually a little bit less of the amount of work that we do when we perform a normal, regular audit. So it is extremely applicable and it's extremely executable, executable and repeatable in practice for discovering such hacks. Uh, so currently we have an implementation. It applies to all EVM chains, but you know, as you can guess, this technique is actually super, super generic. So it could be applicable to other runtimes and we would be able to apply it to other blockchains or even cross-chain interactions as well, but we have not done that work yet. And finally, the main reason why I'm here we are looking for DeFi protocols and blockchains and funds and whoever else who is interested in this topic and uh, you know wants to pioneer with us. So if you do, please get in touch with me. There is a QR code in here. That's the Telegram contact for me. I will be in Paris for the whole week. And yeah, thank you for your attention.